All right, I have an older battery comm cable from a 2002 battery purchase. I want to update the firmware on the batteries. I'm going to be using BMS Test 2.73. If you come over here to the config tab, uh, to do this number here, oddly, I'm already on BMS uh, 3.26. But since I'm already there, I have to change the uh, baud rate for some reason. This cable doesn't pull up the 19200. It defaults to 9600, and I have to change it to 19200 in order for it to read. So disconnect, and then going to connect. Get the green port open. Go to batteries on single. We're just going to add one battery. Then add. And then populate the data. So I actually have it hooked up to 11 of my batteries. So I can add that. Go to the packs. Watch and populate. It goes around each every like second, maybe half a second. Up. It goes and it restarts. So this one should change over. That one. See how the time is moving. All right. So you see, I have comms with the battery. So let's go back here. I'm just gonna make it easier. One pack. And we have one battery. It updates like every second. And then over here in program update, I want to do, oh, let's see, we have pack address number two. So I want to drop down, select two, and I want to hit get info. And I go through your timer will start, and it fails. It takes about 20 seconds for this current setup. I've seen it faster, I've seen it slower. And we'll have a second get boot failed pop up down here. Oh, there it goes. So that means this cable cannot write data. So when I follow the cable down, you'll see it's plugged into my battery. All right, I unplugged it. With the clip facing away, Turn the light on for us. See if I can lock the focus in. All right, so you can't hardly see it, but the, the wires are under the black on the bottom. You can just barely see it right there. If we swipe around to the front, you can see it. So there's pins one, then seven and eight. So one starts on the left, seven, eight on the right. We need those two wires to be on the left. One and two. So I'm going to use this cable, chop it off. All right, so like I said, I'm going to chop it here. Strip it back, and I'm only going to use the orange one and two. So both sides, let's make sure they're both orange. And they are. So orange on the one and two, one and two. Okay, ends cut off. I'm just using this orange twisted pair. Should be white, orange, and orange. I'm going to replace those right in there. And this will be my new cable. Alright, so attach my cable. I'm doing uh, orange white appears to work. Uh, the solid on the bottom, not on top. I did learn something interesting, which I'll cover after the fact. Um, but those two pins that it connects to now have to be connected on the 9600 baud rate. So. 
the 19,200 must be what the inverter requires and that firmware changed the data for those two ports. Anyway, so hit connect and we get a green and my cable is too short to run over to the other battery so I had to switch it to 7 through 12. So I have 12 batteries. Wait, not packs. I have 6. I'm going to add 6. There's your 6. From the multi-pack. And there's my 6. And then we're going to do device in this case we're going to do 7 and then we're going to get get boot info and we should have a green boot successful now when you do an update you're going to select your file and then you're going to hit sure you're going to hit get boot info because you need this hardware version number and then you're going to hit upgrade start when you do that the device address has to equal the address of the battery. Two additional requirements. You cannot have any other cable attached except for this one. And it cannot be seven, where it's seven. Let me just change this back to one battery. All right. So. We're on seven, and we need to see current. Current. So this, it cannot be charging or discharging. In this case, the battery is discharging, so it's going to fail if I tried to do the update. If I have another Ethernet cable plugged into the battery, it will fail. Sun came out. Alright, well, I'll hold off while this is. Uh, anyway, we'll finish. We'll just deal with the noise. So, cut a new cable in. The solid color, color was on the bottom. Well, facing the screw. If you, the screw is facing you. Solid on the bottom, striped on top. Follow that down. See orange in this case is on the right side with the tab facing up. And just like that, it's stunned screaming at me. Uh, simply because my load and solar don't exceed 6,000. So come over to program update, I'm going to boot, we should get a third one successful. There you go. That's what you need to do.